Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is part three of the platinum refining bromate hydrolysis. This is exactly where we left off in part two. And if you remember, I'm having a hard time getting this material heated up to uh, drive off all the ammonium chloride. So I've got a propane flame here. And we're going to try to uh, assist this now if I don't blow it all out of the dish there. Try to assist in rendering this metal out of here. You got to watch out doing this because if you get it too hot, we could cause it to melt turn black and melt and then it goes right up the stack and you lose your metal so If you look at our material in here, it's still got some spots that are kind of discolored. If you look down in here, here, and here, and what I'm after is something that looks like that nice gray piece right there. This is platinum metal. I'm trying to get it all properly burnt so that we can go to the next step. I'm going to heat it back up. I've got this heated up now so it's not ice cold. What I'm going to try to do is I have a uh, propane torch here with the heat down just as low as I can get it so I don't blow this stuff around. Now what we're going to try to do is heat these pieces up I think I don't see any change in color. So I think we may have it here. Let's put a beaker up here, get a weight on it. 197.4. 197.4. I'm gonna write that right on the side of the beaker. Now we're going to take our platinum metal here and add it to this beaker carefully. Now out of curiosity, let's just see how much metal we have in our beaker. Point six. Let's see what we got. Two ten point six minus one ninety seven point four. So we've got thirteen point two grams of metal in here. Got a stir bar here, and what we're gonna do? Rinse this out a little bit with some uh, hydrochloric acid any kind of 
remaining stuff in here. Not much, but just a little bit. Down into the beaker. Alright, let's put this up on the... Uh, this up on some heat back here. Just give it a quick boil in hydrochloric acid. See what that does for us. While I'm waiting for the uh, platinum to boil in that hydrochloric acid, I think what we'll do is we'll get busy doing the dishes here from yesterday's procedure. This is our waste solution. Just gonna add it right on into the stock pot. And what will happen in here is the uh, metals will cement out on that copper that's in there. This on boiling now for about 15 minutes, low heat, and uh, you can see the platinum metal down there on the bottom. Get that stir bar out of here. Come on now, work with me. like we put a little bit of something in solution. See the color? What we'll do is pour this off now into the stock pot. in there. Not looking too bad. That's our metal. What I'll do now is just sit it back down here. I'll just let this settle out for a second. We've rinsed it with the hydrochloric acid. I'm going to pour this off into the stock pot. And I think what we're going to do is our material down in there. And I think what we'll do now is rinse it a couple times with some hot water. loves to suspend so we're going to set this down and let this settle out for us here we go here's our last hot water rinse and we've got the dreaded black ink suspension that means we're getting pretty close to having this uh, material cleaned up 
It's gonna pour this off. Some of our material is gonna get poured off with this. And there is our black platinum powder down there. Should be fairly clean by now. Alright, here we go. It's black powder. What I'm going to do is set it up here. And we're going to put on some low heat and dry dry it out so we can get a weight on it. Here we go. We've got everything dried off in here now. gray powder kind of stuck Let's see what we got for a weight on this stuff now let's see we're at 209.7 209.7 minus 197.4 so we've got 12.3 grams of platinum in our beaker Got our platinum sponge in here, cleaned up, ready to dissolve. Here is the procedure that I found on the goldrefiningforum.com. What we're doing is we're taking impure platinum sponge, which is this. It's been reduced from denoxed aqua regis solutions and treated with ammonium chloride processed in a hundred ounce lots we've got 12 grams in here and we're going to use a process known as the bromate hydrolysis the objective of this technique is to separate the platinum from the other platinum group metals and the base metals by forming their hydroxides platinum not forming a hydroxide remains in solution for further refining First step in the process is to dissolve the impure platinum sponge and then destroy the excess nitric with classic evaporation to a syrup. And then once we get to that point, we dilute it with hydrochloric acid to achieve a concentration of 1.75 troy ounces per liter of solution. I'll add a stir bar to the impure sponge. Here I'm adding about 200 milliliters of hydrochloric acid and then we're going to add about 25 30 milliliters of nitric acid to form aqua regia and we're going to dissolve this impure platinum sponge another one more time here cover it up set it up on the hot plate stirrer there and uh, start dissolving our impure platinum sponge Concentration must be 1.75 troy ounces per liter. What I've done here is a few calculations. 1.75 troy ounces, multiply that by 31.1 grams because that's how many grams is in a troy ounce. We get 54.4 grams per 1,000 ml. We're working with 12.3 grams. So we divide that by 54.4, the required amount that we need. And we get 0.226. Multiply that by 1,000 milliliters. And we get 226 milliliters. So this is about an hour and a half time lapse. I uh, cranked the heat up. Uh, in an effort to go ahead and do the denox and evaporate it down to a syrup and I left it on too long and almost evaporated it to dryness. It's coming up. Watch right here. I let my solution evaporate down too far. I seen it was getting real syrupy so I went into my camera on to get it off of there 
when I came back out, it had nearly evaporated to dryness. And I took it down off the heat and rehydrated it with some hydrochloric acid here. Didn't get that on camera. So that's what we're gonna, that's what we got going on here. I hope everything's gonna be all right. Uh, pour, pour this off and see what kind of solids we got left in here. Here's our solids that we have left in our beaker. I hope I didn't ruin it by getting it too hot. What I'm going to do is set this back out of the way. This is our solution that we've created by dissolving the powder here in Aqua Regia. There's some black solids down in the bottom of this beaker. I'm going to go with another 200 milliliter charge hydrochloric acid. Now I'm going to add some uh, nitric acid form aqua regia in here. I'm going to hit it pretty good with the nitric to form a good strong aqua regia solution. And now what we'll do, give this a swirl. Set it up on the heat. And there we go. Let this continue to cook and dissolve and see how much more of the solids we can put in solution. I've noticed in the comment section, there's folks that uh, make comments about the iridium. If there is iridium in here, that it won't go in solution. And it won't. Aqua Regia doesn't dissolve iridium very well. So the logical assumption would be that the aqua regia is going to put all the platinum in solution and leave the iridium behind. And that's just not the way this works with these platinum group metals. What will happen is some of the iridium is going to go into solution with that aqua, aqua regia. Some of the platinum is going to stay behind as a black powder and mix with the iridium that didn't go into solution. So there's really no way to get an effective separation just by cooking those black solids in that aqua regia. These metals are so much alike that they tend to follow each other and get left behind as the case may be. Here you can see I've got it evaporated down and I began to get a little concerned because it looked just like that in the previous evaporation when I took it down to almost dryness. I can still see some brown fumes in the beaker. So I didn't want to take a chance. I'm going to go ahead and hydrate it with some hydrochloric acid. And you'll see there's still some brown fumes being driven off as I add the hydrochloric acid. And this is a uh, classic evaporation to a syrup technique for driving off the excess nitric. It's something that I normally do not do in my refining practices, but it is a valid way to remove excess nitric if we suspect we have nitric in our solution. This will even work for gold refining as well. You can still see just a touch of brown fumes in that beaker. Now here they're completely gone. I don't see any more brown fumes forming. And I think we've driven off just about all of the excess nitrate that we can. I'm going to turn the stir bar now off. Take this down off the heat and let it cool down. let this settle out and cool down and with that much aqua regia should have all of the platinum in solution now but I did see some solids in there don't know what that is so we'll 
cool this off, let it settle, and take a look and see what we got in here. I've allowed this solution to cool completely, and then we've got this solution that we poured off previously. And it's got a little bit of uh, solids down in the bottom of here. Not sure what that is, but we're going to try to filter this out now with one of our specially prepared filter papers. I'm just going to go ahead and filter this solution now. That's the junk we were able to filter out of the uh, first beaker that we had poured off. Now what we'll do, is we're going to add this one now. This has got considerable more solids in it. It's going to pour right into our filter now. start all over. If you look down here, we've got a lot of black material in here that did not dissolve. Not quite sure what that is. It might be the iridium. I don't know. I don't have enough experience to uh, identify what that might be. So now I, I broke the filter here. Pulled too much of a vacuum and poked a couple holes in my uh, filter so now I got to reset up and reconfigure and start all over going to pull so much vacuum on it. It's only about two inches over there. Let's see if we can get some of this junk filtered out of here. Of course it's going to pull right through the filter. Articulate is so fine it just goes right through the filter paper. I'm going to add a little of this black stuff. See if that starts pulling through the filter. Or if the filtrate stays nice orange color. That liquid appears to be free of particulate. Let's see. What I'm going to do here is take a uh, another filter flask. Get this out of the way. Transfer it over here to this clean flask. I'm about ready to. Uh, call it here and admit defeat. I think I'm going to be able to pull this off. See how that starts to blow up there. That won't look too bad. Not pulling a bunch of uh, black material through the filter. Seems to be working out okay. I've got this connection real loose right here so it's drawing air to uh, keep the vacuum that I'm pulling 
low. <laughs> I just realized I had a vent valve over there that I could open to uh, relieve some of the vacuum. So I just opened that. Now that this filter's loaded up, we should be able to uh, filter the black solids out of this liquid. I've got all the solids pulled out of the uh, solution now. They are down here in this beaker, or this flask, in this funnel, in this filter paper right here. I'm not quite sure what that is. I could go one of two ways here. I could put this back in a beaker. and try to continue to dissolve this uh, if I do that and this turns out to be iridium then what would happen is small quantities of the iridium would go into solution from the hot aqua region I know it's not supposed to dissolve iridium but small quantities of it will go into solution and then we'll just end up adding it into our platinum solution and creating more contamination the second alternative is to just take this material that's in these filters, put it in a crucible, and melt it up into a little bead, and then send it into the big refiner and have them shoot it with their XRF and see what we've got here in the, in the way of metal. Let's do a little Stannis test here. You can see we've got a bright orange stain. This actually looks a little better. It looks a little bit more like platinum now. But we've got the uh, the black solids separated from it. So what we'll do is we'll call it right here for part three. We've got mostly platinum in here, I believe. Before I go, what I'd like to do is uh, point out what we're going to do with the residue that's in these uh, glass containers up here. I'll rinse all this into my stock pot where the uh, dangerous platinum metals in solution will cement out on the copper and we'll get that all cleaned up and make it safe. And then we'll process this liquid here in part four. Thanks for watching.